everybody and welcome to sessions five and six of our microeconomics class. Um, in the past couple sessions, we've been talking about game theory, um, which gives us a way of explaining how multiple people interact or how whole societies interact. Um, today, we're moving away from society as a whole, and we're going to be talking about how individuals make choices, um, specifically how you make choices when you are constrained by different things, um, constrained by budgets or constrained by time. Um, um, whenever you have scarcity, um, it changes how you, cha how you make your decisions. And so that's what we'll be talking about today is decision making under scarcity. Um, if you have a budget, what should you spend your money on to maximize your happiness? Um, so hopefully after today, you'll have the secret to life and the secret to happiness through economics. Um, you won't, but economists think you do. So we're going with that. Um, so the plan for today, um, if you go over to the slides, um, there's just one um, set of slides for today because it's a combination of both of these sessions here. Um, if we were meeting in person, um, we would spend both of these sessions um, on this same topic and we would do lots of practice with the math um, to make up for that because we can't meet in person. Um, there will be some example videos that you can look at at the resources page that walk through a whole bunch of different examples of um, maximizing utility um, and these different indifference curves and budget lines um, and all of these different things that we're talking about. So there will be kind of extensive examples. Um, you'll also have practice on your on your problem set um, and it shouldn't hopefully be too onerous um, with the math. Um, and I will show you lots of resources that will help you essentially do the math for you um, so you can minimize the amount of math that you'll actually be doing, which is great for those of you who have math anxiety. Um, so don't worry too much about the math in this section. So the plan for today, before we get to the math stuff, we're going to talk about incentives and what that means in economics and how, um, how we can shape incentives and why we actually care about these in public policy and public administration. Um, then we'll talk about this important concept that we'll come back to um, repeatedly throughout the rest of the semester, this idea of elasticity, um, which is one way of kind of measuring incentives and measuring how people respond to changes in prices and changes in incentives. Um, then we'll start talking about trade-offs um, and this idea of preferences and what you should do when you face constraints and the trade-offs that you have to make um, to make it so that you're still happy when you're constrained by um, different limits and resources. Um, then we'll introduce this idea of utility, um, which is kind of a made up way of thinking about happiness that's essentially a, a, a way of measuring happiness with these fake points. Um, again, kind of like the, the game theory payoffs that we've been talking about with um, the, the different numbers that we've been placing in the squares. Those are all just made up numbers. Utility also is essentially a made up number. Everybody has their own measures of utility, um, but it still gives us a way of, of, of helping explain why people make the decisions they do and how you can kind of maximize your happiness or maximize your utility. Um, then we'll briefly um, talk about one core principle of calculus, the only calculus you have to know for this whole class, and it's fairly easy, and I, sh I will show you how to actually do it um, on a website where you don't actually have to do all of the math for it. You can just type in a formula, and it will give you the derivative, the only calculus thing you have to worry about. So again, the internet does this for you, which is great. Um, and then like your exams are all open book and open internet. This is where um, it's very useful to use these resources. Um, and then we'll finally use that calculus and use these principles of utility and constraints um, to figure out how to mathematically maximize utility um, and make the best choices that give you the greatest happiness given the constraints that you face. Um, and this is kind of one of the core principles of microeconomics is how to maximize utility. Um, and so you'll get lots of practice with this um, on the resources page and it should be fun and exciting. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> 